Hi, it's May the 21st already. Where is that time going? This is Tara Green. I'm bringing you the tarot and astrology of the day. Now that astrological aspects are relatively light today, with the moon sextiling Neptune and Pisces, so it is a good day to dream, to be imaginative, to be creative, to create something else. Maybe not just bread or <laughs> whatever it is that people are cooking up these days, although those things are all fine. Um, let's see, otherwise, the moon, you know, the sun has just entered Gemini, Venus has squared Neptune yesterday as well, so that's very romantic, we may be still feeling that. The sun is actually trining Athena today, which is nice to put on your thinking cap to get your battle strategy ready, and Mars is also in conjuncting, sorry, not in conjuncting, uh, in a hard aspect to Juno, the goddess of wisdom. Venus is quintile Chiron. They don't usually talk about this more obscure aspects. It's a very spiritual one, so there could be a lot of heart healing going on today. Uh, and the moon is trining Pluto, which is also a very nice aspect. Are we getting ready for the new moon on Friday? So the card of the day is called the Nine of Voices. This is the beautiful news tarot. Uh, voices is air or swords, the element of swords, and it is related to the second decan of Gemini which is where the sun will get to and where Venus is into right now. So this card, the nines are always culminations, completions, endings. And so this one is a very beautiful, kind of mystical, kind of goes very much with the Venus square Neptune energies. It's, there's a beautiful woman sleeping. So is the woman standing up with the beads, the lines, the connections to it looks like the stars and the heavens and the dreamer so is it the dreaming person dreaming of the goddess or the goddess dreaming of the the human person there on the clouds so we're both you know we're both connected to the cosmos human beings here nine of voices so um using this is usually a negative card actually the nine of voices or air or swords is usually pictured as a very negative card um a card traditionally of self-criticism, other people throwing negative energy at you. Um, so this is really interesting to see this card turned around in a totally different way. Um, so most of you who know the tradition of the tarot know this is a very um, difficult card. So obviously we need to, ch anything that seems negative or bad or hard or difficult can be transmuted, transformed, turned around. Not that we ignore the difficult or the hard parts that are out there. We don't want to just um, imagine or pretend they're not real, uh, but we can turn them around. Now, the Nine of Voices also, to me, suggests a sense of really using your voice, using your authentic voice. What is the ultimate thing I have to say? Um, a friend of mine, an, an old friend, um, passed away the other day, and that, you know, death always makes us uh, aware of our finite time here on earth so if you had only a certain amount of time to say what you needed to say what would you say I mean I'm really feeling that one very relevant to me because I'm trying to finish my book and I'm feeling more and more that I need to do that so whatever it is you need to say make sure you say it so sending you blessings uh, please follow me here on YouTube subscribe follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress and I'm at terratero.com. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram. So wishing you all the best blessings and sweet dreams.